Life has a way of throwing us curveballs when we least expect it. One moment, we're sailing smoothly along the tranquil waters of existence, and the next, we find ourselves engulfed in a tempest of turmoil and despair. It's in these moments of darkness and uncertainty that the insidious voice of self-doubt creeps in, whispering cruelly in our ears, you've ruined yourself. There's no turning back now. I can imagine the weight of those words pressing down on your chest like a leaden anchor, dragging you deeper and deeper into the abyss of despair. It's a suffocating feeling, as if the very air around you is turned thick and heavy with the weight of your perceived failures and shortcomings. You look around at the shattered fragments of your dreams and aspirations, wondering how it all went so wrong and if there's any hope left for redemption. I know in the depths of your despair, it's all too easy to believe the lie that you've irreparably damaged yourself, that you're beyond repair. But here's the truth. No matter how deep the wounds may run or how far you may have strayed from the path, it's never too late to start anew. The human spirit is resilient and boundless in its capacity for renewal and growth. So if you've ever found yourself uttering those damning words, I have ruined myself, I urge you to pause, take a deep breath, and listen closely. Because amidst the chaos and turmoil, there's a quiet voice within you, whispering softly but persistently, you are not alone. You are not broken beyond repair. You are worthy of love and redemption. Think about it. This often stems from a deep-seated fear of imperfection. We live in a society that glorifies success and perfection, and as a result, we internalize the idea that any deviation from these ideals is a mark of failure. But the truth is, perfection is an illusion, an unattainable standard that no one can ever hope to achieve. Embracing our imperfections and flaws is not a sign of weakness, but rather a testament to our humanity. It's through our struggles and shortcomings that we learn and grow, and it's in our vulnerability that we find strength and resilience. But no matter how dire the circumstances may seem, it's important to remember that redemption is always possible. Countless individuals throughout history have faced seemingly insurmountable odds and come out on the other side stronger and more resilient than ever before. From recovering addicts to survivors of trauma, their stories serve as a powerful reminder that no one is beyond redemption. It's never too late to seek help, to make amends, and to start anew. By acknowledging our mistakes and taking steps to rectify them, we can begin the journey toward healing and wholeness. At the heart of overcoming the belief that we have ruined ourselves lays the practice of self-compassion. Instead of berating ourselves for our perceived failures and shortcomings, we can offer ourselves the same kindness and understanding that we would offer to a friend in need. Self-compassion involves treating ourselves with gentleness and empathy acknowledging our humanity and embracing our imperfections. It's about recognizing that we are worthy of love and acceptance, just as we are, flaws and all. Ultimately, the belief that we have ruined ourselves is rooted in a fixed mindset, one that sees failure as permanent and unchangeable. But the reality is that growth and transformation are inherent aspects of the human experience. No matter how far we may have strayed from the path or how many mistakes we may have made, we always have the power to change course and chart a new direction for our lives. It's through our willingness to embrace growth and transformation that we find hope and possibility in even the darkest of times. Don't ever say that you have ruined yourself.